Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important problem from limits and here we have to evaluate this limit that is limit extends to 1 and we have 1 plus pi raised to 4 sine pi x and uh, this whole power is x over pi square uh, times cot pi x. So now to evaluate this limit uh, what we will do uh, we'll first take this limit as L and let us consider uh, the limit of this form that is limit extends to A and we have F1 of X raised to uh, F2 of X right so whenever uh, we have a limit of this form that is limit extends to A F1X raised to F2X then uh, if limit x tends to a f1 of x is equal to 1 and a limit x tends to a f of 2x is uh, not defined then the value of this limit uh, may be taken as uh, e raised to limit x tends to a and here we have f2 of x uh, times uh, f1 of x minus 1 right so we can uh, directly uh, evaluate this limit uh, by using this result uh, when a limit x tends to a f1 of x is uh, 1 and limit x tends to a f2 of x is not defined so now our uh, limit is of this form right so here if we compare uh, this limit with this one then uh, a is uh, equal to 1 here we have x tends to 1 here we have x tends to a and the function f1x is given by 1 plus pi raised to 4 sine pi x and f2 of x is given by x over uh, pi square and here we have cot of pi x right so this limit can be directly uh, evaluated by using uh, this result when uh, the limit of this function f1x when x tends to a is 1 and the limit of this function f2 of x uh, when x tends to a is not defined. So let us, so let us first uh, calculate this limit that is the limit x tends to 1. Uh, here a is equal to 1 and f1 of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 and f1x is 1 plus pi raised to 4 sine pi x right so this can be written as 1 plus limit uh, x tends to 1 we have pi raised to 4 sine pi x and this is 1 plus pi raised to 4 limit x tends to 1 and sine of pi x right so now we have 1 plus pi raised to 4 and if we calculate uh, this limit uh, when x tends to 1 then here we have uh, sine of pi right so taking x is equal to 1 so we have sine pi and sine pi is equal to 0 right so we have 1 plus pi raised to 4 uh, times uh, 0 that is equal to 1 plus 0 that is 1 so this condition is uh, satisfied by uh, this function f1x that is limit x tends to a f1 of x is equal to 1 right now let us uh, calculate uh, this limit that is limit x tends to 1 f2 of x so we have limit x tends to 1 and f2x is given by uh, x over pi square and here we have a uh, cot of uh, pi x. Now here uh, we can now write 1 over pi square and this is limit x tends to 1. Here we have x and uh, cot pi x can be written as the cos of pi x divided by uh, sine of pi x. 
So now we can see that this is 1 over pi square and when a limit x tends to 1, uh, here we have 1, here we have cos of pi taking x is equal to 1, but here uh, we take limit x tends to 1, 1 over sine uh, pi x, right? So this is uh, cos pi is minus 1, so here we have minus 1 over pi square and we can see that this limit is not defined because when x tends to 1 then we have sine pi and sine pi is uh, equal to 0 so here we have 1 over 0 right and 1 over 0 is not defined so this limit is not defined right so this function f2 of x it also uh, satisfies uh, this condition that is limit x tends to a f2 of x is not defined. So now we can uh, directly use uh, this result that is this limit is equal to uh, this uh, expression that is e raised to limit x tends to 1 f2 of x times uh, bracket here we have f1 of x minus 1. So now this limit L can be uh, written as uh, e raised to limit x tends to 1 and here f2 of x is given by uh, x over pi square. Here we have cot of pi x and uh, f1x minus 1. So from here uh, we can see that f1 of x minus 1 is equal to pi raised to 4 sine pi x because uh, taking this one to the left hand side we have f1 x minus 1 is equal to pi raised to 4 sine pi x so here we have pi raised to 4 sine uh, pi x now let us simplify it so we have limit x tends to 1 x over pi square and cot pi x can be written as cos pi x over sine pi x and here we have pi raised to 4 sine pi x. Now here uh, pi square get cancelled and here sine pi x is also cancelled and we have limit x tends to 1 and here we have x then we have cos pi x uh, times pi square. So here we have pi square. So now we can uh, write e raised to uh, pi square so taking pi square uh, in front of the limit notation and we have limit x tends to 1 and here we have x and then we have limit x tends to 1 uh, cos of pi x right so distributing the limit notation to uh, both these functions of x. So now we have e raised to pi square, uh, limit x tends to 1, uh, x is 1 and here we have limit x tends to 1 cos pi x is equal to cos of pi. So taking x is equal to 1, we have cos pi. So now uh, the limit uh, L is given by e raised to pi square and uh, cos pi is equal to minus 1. So we have e raised to minus pi square. So viewers the value of this limit is equal to e raised to minus pi square. So by using uh, this important result uh, we can solve these kind of uh, limits easily.